Welcome, my friends, to the most important part of this series. The release and where it ends up at finish can really control the golf ball. Playing golf, that's almost the, in, in, the only thing I think about. And I will hit three golf balls with three different finishes. And the result is unbelievable. You can control the ball so well by just thinking where the toe is going through impact. The finish is probably the part that most golfers that actually are good look mostly the same. We have a pretty high finish. How we end up there could differ, but it's not going to be this. It's not going to be that. It's going to be somewhat high finish if you hit a normal golf shot. But why is that? You have a relationship with the club. I want you to start the release early to gain speed. I want you to feel when the passing happens and play around with that so you can hit up on the ball, you can hit down on the ball, you can do whatever you like. But the finish is so important to hit it straight. If I turn the club, and this is really hard to see on TV because this and this, can you see the club face? That and that looks about the same when you look from the side, caddy view. Here and this. There's so many comments about me rolling over with my hands, but I'm not rolling over. It's passing from under to over, but it's not on top. My trail hand is going under and up but it's not on top, it's not on top of the lead hand. Because then I would only hook the ball. Let's do that first. The toe will turn and the finish will be that way. And the ball will hook. Out here, my brain really doesn't want to do that. But it's a good feeling. I, I think the hook feels Pretty nice actually. The toe has turned. It's going that way. I mean at that point it's 90 degrees closed. So it's probably not going to be too straight at impact. I can do it perfectly here but then it turns too much and it starts very early. So the finish is really important. If I go the other way it will open the club face. It will open, it will actually block the release. So it's going to feel bad. But it's still, toe out will end up as a slice. <laughs> that is really far out. So none of those shots I will probably find again. I won't, I won't find the ball. So hitting it like I want to, I really need to feel going up on that side, down, push a little down into the ground and then up again. If it's somewhere up between maybe 11 and 1, it will be pretty good. And the scoop, which is the key to this, the scoop will bring the toe up to about 12. So if I roll the wrist, instantly the club will close too much. But if I scoop, it will end up pretty good. Let's scoop it. A little draw. It's so much nicer. Of course it takes practice, but again, like I want you to push down and hit up and really feel the difference, you need to feel the difference. Turn it that way, turn it this way, end up going up. We need to feel the different shots.
I mean, it's nothing wrong with a hook if you want it. It's nothing wrong with a slice if you're in a green side bunker with a wedge in your hand. So you also need those shots, but maybe not from the tee. That ball is probably left side fairway where I want it. So out here on the golf course, the finish is really, really important. If you play around with the finish, you will see that the ball is doing all kinds of stuff. It's fun because you are in control. Of course you can turn it that way, turn it this way and learn to feel the difference. Thank you for watching this little series about the release. Start it early, feel how it feels at impact and stick your finish, the finish you need to get the shot you want.